Okay, Nora, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for, for coming in and working with us here tonight. Uh, first question I want to get off, uh, off the, the plate here is, what is it that, that you're most looking forward to bringing out in your personality? Um, I just think just kind of my, my quirkiness, my goofiness, my gregarious attitude, and kind of the way that I just kind of come off to people. It's, it's more inviting. I feel like I feel like I'm inviting the viewers to kind of come into my world and look what I can show you, look what I can bring to the table with that flirtatious vibe, that kind of, you know, mix. I'm a very mixed uh, person. I talk with my hands, I'm very Sicilian. <laughs> but just kind of that attitude that nobody really has nowadays, but that look that people are looking for. So I feel like I can fulfill. We were talking uh, before. You said that uh, with all of your accolades, especially your most recent Miss Chicago, that you, you told me that you're a little bit more of a tomboy, and that was kind of yeah. surprising. So can you tell me? I know. Expand I can really on walk that hills. a little bit. I can really walk in heels. <laughs> but, uh, it's so crazy. My mom, um, and she always told me like, you need to look and walk like this and talk like this. And I'm just like, you know, I want to play basketball. Like, why can't I just do this? And um, she was like, you know, one day when I was 15, she was like, you know what? We're going to get in the Miss Teen Pageant. Never done a pageant in my life. Never walked in my life. Never wore heels. Basketball shoes, Jordans, all day. And it was crazy because she was like, well, you know, you're becoming a woman now. You're becoming a young lady. Like, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. Like, I want you to do this for me, and I'm like, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I did it, and I won the deal with four top agency, you know, in the, in the world. And um, put on heels, I'm like, whoa, but people never believe. I do my own makeup, I do my own hair, I dress myself. I don't need a stylist, I don't need makeup artists or hairstylists. It's kind of, it's me, and I put my own flair to it. When I first learned, I was like, ow, eyelashes, or ow, mascara, but I kind of got that whole quirkiness to me where it's just like, this is me, this is the real me. Like, if girls want to put on makeup and look pretty, and they don't know how, they can learn to do so. If, you know, just kind of the whole, like, big sister feel. What advice would you give, um, you know, another other woman in your uh, situation or somebody that you see that might you know, uh, remind you of yourself, um, what, what advice would you give them relationship-wise? Oh, don't try to be like the tabloids. Definitely bring the best out of yourself. I'm not, even, not only just be yourself, but be yourself with confidence. Have that confidence, have that drive, have that, you know, wanting to be you and be proud of yourself. Because if you're not, then you're always going to be thinking of, let me look through in style and see what Beyonce's wearing or Mariah Carey or someone else. Or what can I do to do them? Be yourself and bring the best out. Use them for reference, but really kind of bring out who you are and what that means to be true to yourself. Because I know I was finding myself for the longest time. I'm like, I'm best friends with these guys, but why don't they like me as a girlfriend? Or what do I have to do to my hair? What do I have to do to my makeup to really get them to, to notice me? And the fact was, it wasn't the makeup, it never was the hair, it never was the shoes or the clothes. It was that best friend, it was like that relationship that you had with the guy that really made it more than what it was. And I realized that over the years. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to do beauty pageants, I don't need to do this, like I can still go back and play basketball and find a guy who likes me for me. So it's just really, you know, not only just be yourself, but really be confident and be, you know, positive and really don't, you don't have to be fake or phony or get, you know, food or hair extensions or whatever, just, just be yourself and rock what you got and be comfortable with it. Great, that's a great note to end on. Very genuine. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy so drip the swag goo. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy so drip the swag goo. Oh, I may be young.